Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into video number 45, assignment number 10. Please send this to mdg.sanskrit at gmail.com for credit towards the online course and feedback. All submissions must be legibly handwritten and scanned as a PDF or sent as a picture. What we have to do for this assignment is to form the verbal base for the ver vocabulary words below for the fourth conjugation, add a, then using the verbal base conjugated in the third person singular form. So we have us to throw, we have tush, tush to be, to be pleased. Then we have nush to perish. We have nrit to, to dance. We have push to nourish. We already did that one. And then we have mu to faint. So um, since the conjugation, the fourth conjugation is pretty straightforward, There, there's only um, a few things that I want to show you guys. And these are all the vocabulary words that we have for the fourth conjugation. Um, I just want to show you how to um, add the half letters to the ya, and then I'll leave you alone to do the rest. So you have sia, then you have shia, just like poshyati, then for a shia, you would just write a half sha with the ya. Um, for tia, you would just write a half ta with the ya there. Um, I showed this to you in the last video. Shia. Shia. And then for hia, this was what hia would look like. So you write out your ha like normal. But then attached to the nose, you're going to basically draw this part attached to the ha. Okay? So that's how you join the half letters to the ya. We already learned that um, push to nourish is push yati. So I basically did that one for you in the previous video so you just have to fill that in in these two blanks in third person plural so here you would write push yati push ya ti and then you would write your birth your verbal base after adding a so that would be push ya after adding a, okay? So that would be the answer for for to nourish. Since we already did that one, I just felt like writing that in for you. And then you'll do the rest on your own. Um, it's pretty simple, um, it's straightforward. But again, if you are struggling, um, you could always send an email to the highlighted email above. And this is your Sanskrit instructor. Signing off with a namaste.